Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. Uh, this is going to be for your October 2023. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus uh, signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. And what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in... Um, Following me on TikTok and also on Instagram. The links for those are in the description box below. I think I also mentioned like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on my new videos posting when I go live, right? So, uh, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo here. What's going on with Virgo and love and the person that they are connecting with? Tell me about Virgo and love and the person that they are connecting with for um, October 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. Or Virgo, it's not about Virgo. So we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel like there's. Um, I feel like there's a potential for prosperity here, but with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like someone here doesn't really have anything to give. It seems like wh whatever is going on here, I do feel like someone here is waiting around for someone here for to make some sort of commitment here, you know, to propose. Um, yeah, I, so there's definitely some sort of stalemate energy between you and this person here. Like, I feel like you, you know that this could potentially turn into something really great, something more here, but someone here is definitely holding back. Someone here definitely has pulled their energy back. Um, and I feel like as of right now, you know, I don't feel like there's going to be any sort of movement here, but I do see things working out between you guys. You just have to be patient and, uh, and wait for... The divine to open up this opportunity to this person because I feel like they're not seeing it right now. Yeah, they're not seeing it right now. Uh, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles here. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, someone here has a decision to make. The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands. But I do feel like this is meant to turn into something more. Like, this is meant to turn into higher levels of commitment here. I just feel like you just have to be patient with this individual here and just let things unfold as it should. Two of Swords here. Why is the Two of Swords here? We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Hangman, Piscean Energy, and the Ace of Swords here. I feel like you're trying to gather more information. I feel like you're trying to gather more clarity here. But, you know, being pushy is not going to help this person make a decision here. It's just going to drive this person away. Yeah, I just feel like you just got to be patient here. I, I understand that you want to know, you know, but you got to give this person a chance to figure it out or that this person has to give you a chance to figure it out if you are the one on the uh, on the other side of this. We have a three of swords and a ten of swords. Wow. Someone here is really holding back because someone here has been hurt so much that someone here just cannot really open their hearts up for a relationship because someone here, like I said, has been hurt so much here. What else do we have here for um, Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo? Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Um, tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for um, October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. For Virgo. So we have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the Page of Wands and the Death card. I feel like this, oh, yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that is not quite sure what they want to do. I do feel like this is an individual that's really sexually attracted to you. 
Um, I do feel like this person sees the potential here, but right now I feel like all this person could offer you is sex. Um, you know, I, it, this is so interesting because I almost get the sense that this person's avoiding you here too. Like, I feel like, oh, let's hang out like this and uh, on this day and that day uh, at 2 p.m. But I feel like this person, you know, sets a date with you, but then this person backs out. Or that this person might say that, you know, uh, work came up or like, you know, or that this person overworks. And, you know, uh, you know, every time you maybe come up with a diff different date at a different time, this person's telling you that they're busy. Okay. I feel like they're trying to avoid you here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess. And this person is carrying around a lot of burdens and a lot of hurt and a lot of pain with them. I just feel like this is an individual that's incredibly insecure. Maybe they feel like they can't match up to your expectations or that they can't come up to your level or that they feel like they're not on your level here. The Page of Wands, we have the Four of Cups, uh, the Death card, and the Three of Cups here. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is definitely trying to distract themselves here by, um, you know, looking for or talking to other people. Um, I, I, I just feel like I do. I, I feel like this person feels like or knows that eventually, like, you know, knows that this can turn into something more, but they're definitely blocking it here. Tell me more about um, Tell me more about uh, uh, Virgo, outcome and advice. What else does Virgo need to know, look out for, work on for uh, October 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. So we have the Page of Pentacles here and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups and the Strength card, Leo energy. And the Sun and the Lovers. This is definitely a divinely guided soulmate connection. I, I feel like, you know, this person cannot continue resisting you. I, I just feel like you're, they find you really irresistible here. But I feel like maybe this person's definitely, like like I said, they're trying to find ways to snake their, out of, snake their way out of hanging out with you or something like that or spending time here with you. Uh, you know, I feel like when this person makes time for you, maybe this person only gives you like an hour or 30 minutes with the Eight of Cups here and the Lovers. Tell me about the Sun. And the two of cups. I, yeah, I just feel like this person keeps turning their back on this relationship. Yeah, I, I don't feel, I feel like this person can't turn their back on it anymore. They're, they're going to feel that strong uh, energetic pull towards you. Uh, Ace of Pentacles here and the Strain card, the Seven of Cups here and the Five of Wands. This person's trying to fight what their heart wants, basically. Yeah, this person's trying to fight what their heart wants. Uh, and you can't, you know, you can't, you can't do that because. You know, I feel like in a way, when you do that, you're neglecting a part of yourself. You know, you're 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 uh, basically neglecting that uh, the, that uh, 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 the authenticity of yourself here. Uh, we have the magician Gemini Virgo, uh, the Page of Pentacles, and the Empress here, Libra Taurus. Yeah, I feel like this person keeps fighting what they want, fighting what their heart wants. I, I feel like this person knows that you are the one for them. But this person keeps distancing themselves from you because of their fears here. Yeah, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Yeah, and I feel like you got to give this person space to figure things out too. Uh, because like I said, uh, it just being pushy won't help the situation. It's just going to make it worse. Uh, because they're they're, they're gonna you know pull away so virgo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye